How to use Notion to organize your school task and life step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Notion.so for your school task organization and management. So let's get into it. Uh, first of all, what you guys need to do is you can go to Notion.so and you will land right here. Notion.so is a project management software that allows you to uh, manage your everyday task, your work projects and more. We can also go ahead and organize our school life with Notion and I'll show you how to use it as a student let's get into it first of all you will have to create an account on notion and click on try notion for free you will be able to sign up with your email address right here or you can also sign up with your google account so don't worry about the sign up process it's really easy and there is no credit card required you can get started for free there is nothing to pay for so you will get right here just enter the details and you will get your own account after the initial sign up or sign into your Notion.so, this is where you will land. You can see we have an account on Notion. You can now use this account for your personal use or you can create more than one account on Notion as well. If you want to stay more organized and you want to create another account for your work or personal life. This is a workspace that I've created. This is an account that I will be using for my student. As a student, I will be managing my school task and everything. So first of all, once you get right here, you will be able to see this panel which shows us the search, updates, settings and members. We can even invite different members. In our case, we can invite different class fellows or our friends to join us on our notion to create group study tasks and anything like that. Then we have add a page. This is where I will be adding all of the different pages. We have templates, import and trash. So you have to go to the templates and once you click on templates it will show you all of the different templates available on notion we have suggested marketing life project management engineering design human resources and then at the bottom right here we have student now this is the one that you should go for because it has all the necessary pages that we are looking for in student we will be able to get a lot of different pages to help us organize our school life so the first one is a student dashboard. This is the page that is a must page that you should have as a student. So I'm going to click on get template and it will be added to my account right here. So this has been added. We can add a cover page right here. Now this is our icon. We can add a comment and this is our main dashboard i can change the name of course if i want to for example i can add my school name here or what i am doing my course name then within this dashboard i will be able to create different courses for example you have calculus one we have creative writing we have intro i'm going to create another one which is going to be science so all you need to do is just enter the name of the course that you have you can also enter an icon so I'm going to change a different icon for the science one. So I'm going to go with the brain. Then we have course code. So this is where you will enter your course code. Uh, so my course code is SC090. Then we have a prof. This is where you will enter your professor name. And then we have year. So my year is going to be uh, fall 2023. So this is what I'm going to select for my course. And then we have our homework section. This is where I will enter my homeworks and we have add a property. I can even add a comment as well. So in a comment, I'm just going to go ahead and like remind myself for getting notes. Perfect. So I have even added a comment here. We have our homework section that will allow me to create an essay. We have like a debate club and we have quiz, anything like that. So for the science one, we actually do have a quiz. So I'm going to go with the quiz two right here and we can even enter a link here. So this will remind me that I have a quiz for this course that I have. I can scroll down to create a new course, to add a new page or a new template to like add within our page. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I can maybe create a to do as well if I want to. So we can go with like a slash command here and in slash I'm going to go with the to do list. In to do list I'm going to go for revise lectures. Perfect. And I'm going to go with homework and I'm going to go with a solve problems or anything like that. So these are going to be my to do's. 
Uh, so I have created a new course right here on Notion. Now I can even go ahead and add a cover to it. So this is how you can create courses within your student dashboard. Then we have to-do list. So in to-do list, you can see we have to do in progress, complete. Uh, this will allow me to simply go ahead and, uh, you know, have a to-do list. So this is actually a really good dashboard that you should go for. So we have to-dos here in to-dos again. What I can do is let's say I have a quiz coming up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new right here and I'm going to call it quiz or I can go with like a midterm exam or a test that I have. So I can just add like my different tasks here and to-dos. Then we have clubs and personal projects. When it comes to our student dashboard, we have our clubs as well. So if you have joined any club other than your own courses, then you're going to enter the details here. So I do have and we have a debate club, let's say we have a music lesson, we have a robotics club. So you can join right here and you can even enter the time. Uh, so this is just like a column that has been created within a student dashboard that you can use. And then we have personal projects such as my blog, my long essays, my coding videos that you do. So this is just for your own purpose. This is a really good dashboard that you should go ahead and check out on Notion.so to organize your student life. Now I'm going to take you back to the template and show you some of the other templates that are available within the student section we have class notes so if you like to take notes on your mobile phone or your ipad then what you're going to do is you're going to go with the class notes and click on get template this will allow you to get notes in an organized way and you will be you can see right here we have a different notes already created these are some default notes again i can just click on the uh, new icon give it a name and i will be able to even add different material into it add a due date we have type we have class so we can just enter all the details here to create notes so this is a really good template available for the notes again you can enter a, a cover you can change the name if you like you can enter more description here we have by courses some of the filters created i can uh, even share my notes with my friends as well just click on the share right here enter the your email address and you will be able to do so this is actually a really good option available so you don't need to buy any other app or any other software to create notes for your courses you can just use notion i'm going to go ahead and add another page so let's get to the templates again i'm going to scroll back to students here we have a great calculator we have course schedule um, lesson plans syllabus and more we have class directory as well classroom home and club home page so here i'm going to quickly go to the grade calculator this is also really important so if you want to keep track of your grades as a student then you should go for this page so we have a grade calculator how it works is we have like sc1 sc2 sc4 you enter your due dates submitted dates your scores that you got and then what you're going to do is you're going to enter your late penalty if you have any final grades your waiting weighted grades so this is a really good and it gives you at the bottom you will be able to find your grades like how much uh, average is going to be so for me it's like 89.5 right here so this is actually a really good template as well to calculate your grade so you can go ahead and check it out all you need to do is just like enter a new entry here let's say that i have a quiz too so i will be calculating the grades for the quiz as well or i have a midterm exam so i can enter a due date now for example, the due date for this one was this right here. And then I also submitted it. I submitted it on the 27th, let's say. The raw scores that I got were, uh, the total were 100 and I got 95. And then we have like our penalty if there is any. Um, then we have our executed and then we have late penalty if there is any final grade, weighing, everything. So it will be calculated within your uh, grades right here so you can see it increased my average grade here uh, similarly i can go with another template which is going to be the schedules if you want to schedule your meetings your quiz everything your uh, syllabus then you're going to go with the uh, course schedule right here click right here it will give you so we have a course schedule it will give you a calendar view too we have a syllabus this is where you will enter your course and syllabus for the term and you can see we have course description. You can enter your enrollments, your readings, course schedule within. So this is another 
a very good dashboard that you can check out within the student section on Notion. Notion is a really good choice for the students in order to organize your school life and your, uh, you know, homeworks, your student dashboard, everything. You can go ahead and check out Notion.so to get your own templates like this to get more organized and productive with your studies and get good grades. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.